Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rodney and wow guys, thank you so much to all the subscribers. We have hit 4,000 subscribers. You guys are the best, are the best, and I really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. So now I'm going to share with you guys a very interesting scholarship program that is called the Himmel Schmilt scholarship program. Yeah, it's a German name. <laughs> so this is a scholarship for a master's in public policy and, and governance, which is undertaken in Germany. Interesting. And it is um, by DAD, the DAD Exchange um, Service Agency. So what I'm going to do now without wasting much time is just to take you guys through the processes and everything that is expected of you so that you can make that application quickly because the closing date is 31st of July. So let us do this as soon as possible. Let's get on the information. So guys, here we are. Um, so as I've said that this is the, the Himmel Schmidt program, Master of Public Policy and Good Governance, uh, great scholarship. So there's a lot of information that you guys will need to go through. These documents that are here, you guys have to go through them. I'm just gonna, you know, um, just um, scan them um, quickly so that, you know, you, we, we have an idea of what is um, needed. So basically the, you need to understand, obviously the, the, the objectives of the scholarship um, in terms of um, what is it that they're trying to achieve. For example, this offering future leaders a master's course in discipline that are of special relevance to social, political and economic development. Uh, who can apply, so you should be a graduate of developing in meeting country. So you should be having an honors degree um, or, or a four-year bachelor's degree. And then in these fields over here, as you can see your social and political sciences, law, economics, and public policy and administration. And then um, you should be willing to actively contribute to the social and political economic development of your country. Um, what can be funded? So this is so this starts in September 2024. This, this is for next year, guys. And then um, so here you are. Um, what's gonna be benefiting events and seminars, and then um uh that's what you are exempt from paying fees. So it's it's always means paid. So the here is the value. So you are going to get um your scholarship currently 50 per month. Um stipend for a master's course at any higher education in institution in Germany, health insurance cover perfect travel allowances, here we go, study and research grants, rent subsidies and family supplements, uh, particularly preceding German language in lasting up to six months. So this is just, also just to, boost, to boost it to understand you know, the German language. Um, regarding the benefits, social protection, master's course, do this blended learning, so a safe place, safe Less than eight day English or 500 per month paid in the fourth semester, matter online semester in the student's country of origin and another developing and emerging country. So, meaning that you know that the last semester it's a it's a two year program. So, the last semester you can either do it um, back at home or in another developing country, which you can choose. So, here is the application process, people. Important. So, you need to read the selection criteria. It's important, as I've said, you know. There are the documents here in terms of what is it that is expected of you. You need to read these ones. And then, um, so if you are applying for two master's courses, please rank the courses in order of preference. So the first one should be your, your preferred first choice and also second choice. Um, and then selection. Here it is, the information that you're going to read about the selection committee, what's going to be happening from now on, selection criteria, what are they looking for? So conclusive account of your academic professional and personal motivation. Why is it that you want to go and study um, abroad? You should be able to, to explain why Germany, why the institution that you chose, and then your goals of the Shimi program. One thing that I always tell people um, is that when you are, you are actually applying for a scholarship, you should first read what the scholarship is all about. So you need to understand what the Hemel Schmidt program is all about. So that will also help you when you write your motivation practical experience of the program, you know, internships and all those things. A first higher education degree completed within above average grade, upper third. So at least this one, it's good because some, some of the programs will, will basically need you to be having your first upper class. So meaning that 70% going out the distinction. Formal requirements, candidates already hold a master's degree must take a well argued case. So if you have a master's degree already, you need to explain it says why do you want it and, and why that they should grant you another opportunity to do a master's. A candidate last university should not date back more than six years ago. So at least, so 
your degree should have been issued around 2017. Because we have been more than past 15 months in a country not listed in SADC, are not eligible, and all those things. Must have their own selection criteria. So, so obviously, in terms of your the masters, whether it's in public policy or in good governance, whatever masters it means, they will be have their own um selection processes, applicant documents. So here are the information that they're gonna need. You're gonna read these guys, gonna read the transcript, your proof of English language skills. Here, very important. So there are different types of you know, um, language skills. We have got pilots, the international English language testing system. There's also your TEFL. You know, um, so and also your Cambridge, um, but it will also depend on what you the university that you know you're applying for wants. So, so that one you should also know a, a current return reference to your employer or lecturer. So you also need to to get those references in place and speak to those people who are supposed to do references for you. Here is the deadline: thirty first July twenty twenty three application location and all that please note so these things guys you're going to read so the the following master's courses are part of the email so these are the programs your social projection from this university development and governance in place of these you know here we are peace and conflict these universities so there are universities that are part of this um scholarship um and then checklist gonna open that what is it that is needed your application uh form you know it's somewhere here application form is here you see you can type on it so you're gonna do complete everything it's it's not something that is, is difficult to be honest you know it's it's quite easier so that application form is mandatory you know your host university first choice you know second choice it's mandatory if you're applying for more than one course letter of motivation here maximum two pages long so you also need um, to write that cv in the euro pass format full cv without any explain gaps so you should explain if you're not working working you should explain what we do so there are no gaps in your in your cv so the euro pass cv you can do like this and then create a euro pass profile online and create the euro pass um cv um Okay, no, not this one. Not this one. What happened? <laughs> okay, let me close this one. Uh, what did we open? Checklist? Yeah. All right. Um, and then university cage your degrees, also mandatory transcript. You'll have them. Practical exam, uh, uh, return confirm your current and relevant professional experience, internships. So you should get all those things um in place. Current general reference from your employer or university lecturer. You know it's important you know to chase these people up, the one that you wanna want them to reference you because sometimes you're gonna talk to people and they take forever to come to it. Sometimes they even forget because they're busy. So just do it on time. Formal criteria you will just read here. How do they want it? to be done so that you know you don't get dis disqualified for, for something else. Letter of motivation, you must, they're explaining what is it that you must include and other things, your experience, you know, explanation of your academic professional, what, what. Criteria for master's courses are being part of a made All master's courses have their own selection criteria. Obviously from universities, that's what you're gonna know about what is it that they want from you. Frequently asked questions. So if you've got questions before you ask me or anybody else, you just come here and then um, just read those, Frequently asked question, age limit, no age limit, you know, formal requirement, all the three bachelor's degrees can apply. So, so this part, I would, oh, I, I, I must involve a one year and two year master's courses. And please clarify, oh, I, I thought you were talking about the issues of because I know that, you know, from South Africa, you know, um, for you to do a master's, you need to be having a, a, a four year a bachelor's degree, uh, or maybe you have a, a degree, a three year degree, and also an honors degree. Um, and then, so you're going to read all these things, language skills that are needed. You see your TEFL, your eyelids, what, what, what. So you're going to read all those information there. So it's a, it's a very, it's a very great um, um, scholarship uh, that I would advise you guys to apply. So make sure read about the program, guys, what the program is all about. Read this information. It will help you when you write your motivation. And then, um, so you see also the master's programs, the universities, you know, just read this information, it's gonna be helpful. Location of the universities, master's program, all the info, target group, academic, all those things. So, so it's important for you to do your background check. And I think they've made it simple here by you know the universities, you just click there and make an application of the university of your choice. So I would also advise for you to do um, two choices, um, yeah, have first and second choice. And so just to give you a chance, if the other one, you don't get admission, you know, you can fall back on the other one. 
which can be very much helpful. So, so that's more of um, the, the short and sweet of this program. Um, guys, it's a very good one. Please do apply. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful and um, that you're going to apply for the scholarship. Please share it with people in your cycle, share it with your friends, with your families, and tell people about this channel so that they can just get here and learn as much information as possible. Remember, it is closing on the 31st of July, 2023. So all the best guys in application, and I'm going to see you in the next video.